there's always nothing else to help out old elderly people. So I hope somebody looked over our shoulder. Thankfully there was a mobile mechanic here in the area because I don't know what we would have done. That thing is toast. Like seriously toast. I drove it probably 60 miles more than I should have. Wilburn's gone. Caliper's gone. The whole housing on it, everything's shot. We just replaced that before I went on this trip down in Texas. Uh, looks like I'm doing it again, plus a wheel bearing. And paint up the tire a little bit, the wheel. Life of a maniac right here. Thank you, man.
That was pretty intense. We stocked up, I don't know, geez, well, there's a truck. We came about a good 300 yards. Try to encroach on these uh, rams, what, three times? Yeah, caught our wind. Caught our wind both times, uh, <clears throat> and you know, it was trying to have this Ozonics cover three guys, four guys, uh, you know, it was just, <laughs> it was, it was wind, working wind, it. Wind, you can tell the wind right now is just just going nuts. But what we decided to do was circle in around the backside of these ramps, and uh, we were looking at at a doll that had a, a blonde in him, and it was a really good blonde. And then Trevor was like, "Hey man, there's a really good buck, a really good ram," and uh, got access on the brain. Man, yeah. we've been we've been just nailing it, nailing it, nailing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, we positioned ourselves, and man, that was a that was a really really good. You know, Ram, yeah. really good, really good Texas doll. Uh, first one that I've shot. Um, felt really good about the shot. It looked like it poked him right in the shoulder, and um, the Ram cat found its home. I'm gonna slip down here and take a look at uh, the arrow. Uh, we got, I don't know, I don't know if it's the buzzards on, <laughs> on him yet. That's pretty fast, but uh, uh, we're gonna see if we can't get this job recovered. He just laid down, I don't know, within 100 yards, so we should be good. Let's check it out, guys. Yeah. After. Smoking good doll sheep. Yeah. Wow. Texas doll. Dude, this is a. This is a. Uh, yeah. Holy cow. Look, it hasn't been that long since we shot it. <laughs> like a pestle. The heat. The heat, man. This is unreal. Holy cow, man. That ram cat did a number on this Texas doll. And those tight, those are some really nice tight curls, too, right? Yeah. Wow, you know, you know, we didn't didn't even notice this guy when we were in. We were looking at the other one, had that blonde going on him, and dude, I'm super glad we we decided. Trevor's like, no, right there, right there. And we knew. I mean, it was a no-brainer at that point. You know, holy cow. What do you think? He's probably seven, eight years old. Yeah, probably right around there. 
you know, and he's not beat up either. I mean, his nose is, you can always tell on those sheep. Yeah, he doesn't have any of the big scars up here on his head, but no. he's got this broomed off a little bit. Yeah. He's got a little character to him. Beautiful ram, good Damn mane on him. Dude, he laid down, it wasn't too far from where he laid down, no. you know. We saw him lay down, so, but man, it dried up quick. I mean, the heat here is unreal. Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you tax and deal you with quick. it. Holy moly. Wow. Makes for Dang. a great off season. Oh yeah, this is this has been a, uh, I mean, the axis deer we saw, you know, uh, just, it's just crazy, you know? Just crazy. Yeah, and, and like, you know, it's really, you know, for me, there's really no off season. I'm constantly finding something to hunt. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, when I initially caught you, I was like, hey, man, I, I gotta fill the void. I mean, I'm <laughs> done bear hunting, you know, Idaho bear season, and I'm waiting till Wyoming, August for speed goat, you know, and, you know, for, yeah, yeah. I mean, you come down, you can hunt, you know, the exotics in um, Texas and the axis, the, uh, the doll sheep, you have, Black buck, black buck, yeah. and uh, the uh, the Corsican, Corsican rams, Corsican yeah. rams. So it's like, hey, I'm I'm telling you right now, uh, you know, you hear the people say, hey, you're just gonna go shoot these. No, <laughs> we, I spot and stalk this guy. Well, not this one in particular, but the group of them, and you know, it wasn't no easy feat no. at all. Uh, the heat, the weather, we got winded three times. Um, you know, anybody that underestimates a, a sheep of any sort, a speed goat of any sort, they're full of themselves. I mean, really, they are. So, um, oh, ticks, ticks everywhere. Uh, but, um, yeah, so if you guys are looking to uh, have some good summer vacation hunting-wise, my wife says it's vacation, but I don't know. I think <laughs> I work harder doing this than anything. Definitely but, um, sweat more. Yeah, yeah, you sweat more. <laughs> Uh, just a, a great exciting time here uh, Devil's Rivers Outfitters um, it's a uh, it's been it's been real yeah it's a heck so, of a hunt man yeah it's been awesome so I guess you bet you yeah. man I appreciate it <laughs> I appreciate it we're not done yet no still going <laughs> man this is the second day yeah and uh, I have seen more animals on hoof more good animals and even better great axis you know, it's just like you see these guys posting stuff, and it's like, nah, man, that, that's a real deal right there. Yeah. So, uh, man, you got a great, good thing going on. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that uh, the show that we're going to put out here for uh, Devil's River Outfitters and Collier. Uh, you know, we're going to have your number up on the on the show there, so everybody can get a hold of him. And and uh, man, it's just that's awesome. Get this thing uh, dressed out and. Uh, before he gets swells up and pops or floats away. <laughs> <laughs>